Yo guys, sorry, you already know that today we are back playing some more Fire Emblem Engage. We are here at Chapter 2, doing a practice battle against our mother, Queen uh, Lumira. Um, but before I jump into that, there are a couple things that I wanted to say that I've uh, learned slash done between the last episode and this episode. Um, so first off, I didn't put it in because I'm a little bit scared of uh, potential copyright. But I have to say that the opening cutscene when you first open up the game is really, really cool. If, uh, if you can look that up, like the, 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 the music especially, it's very, very good. Uh, also, I think I mentioned how like the main menu doesn't have the Fire Emblem theme. However, if you let the main menu play, uh, like just sit for a while, it'll start um, showing off like, you know, combat and units and stuff like that. And uh, it plays the Fire Emblem theme in the background and a very good rendition of it at that. So uh, that's a fun little treat that I found. Uh, also, I got the online features set up um, and I did that by looking through the settings. Um, so I was I like, obviously, you know, I did the online stuff by actually, you know, renewing my membership uh, or whatever but uh there's a bunch of stuff that we can customize so i just kind of want to like go through and, and probably not really change much but just show you all the options that like you you do have um i'll keep combat animations on staff dance animations on as well especially because we have the ability to fast forward through them i like fast forwarding them but i do still like seeing them uh the engage animations only play for the first time uh of each turn which is pretty cool so they're not going to just show the the same thing like over and over again if you're uh, engaging multiple times in a battle i guess uh, I will keep game speed at normal for now because it seems like it's it's moving uh, pretty fine, but I could see myself uh, going too fast, uh, potentially. Um, yeah, we don't need to skip through actions. Uh, and then the grid visibility is interesting, that you can sort of turn like the grid on, I assume. Uh, I think I can kind of get used to it being off, uh, but that is an option there. I kind of want to see what it looks like with it on, and then maybe I'll turn it back off. Um, yeah, additional info config, battle mini map, which we already can change the size even without the this. Um, danger radius, I like the toggle. Uh, I guess you could have it either. Oh, okay, you can do it when it's held on or just toggle. I like the the toggle. Uh, you can mess with the camera a little bit. Uh, you can. Oh, it doesn't r rotate the mini map while exploring. Uh, yeah, I don't want it to rotate. Uh, I like my map being in a fixed position. Obviously, you can uh, do uh, volume stuff conversation advance which i'm pretty sure you can turn auto advanced conversation even during dialogue anyway uh this is where i can find the network features which i've tur currently turned on uh and then the guide display with tutorials and whatnot which uh yeah i guess you can turn them off probably for you know once you know the settings and you don't need to be taught how to play anymore uh, but i like keeping them on because there's definitely gonna be some new stuff that we're taught uh because you know things like the brick system and whatnot uh so yeah now we can see the grid actually now that i see the grid like that i actually like it so much more with the grid off that is interesting um, I thought that I would like it more with it on, but I, I, I prefer it being off, actually. That's that's crazy. Um, but alright, we are actually going to, uh, you know, do our, our battle. Uh, we have this Axe Fighter and this Archer. We have Clan, who can do some fire. Uh, let's look at some unit details for you. Uh, you have a high dex, high magic, high speed. Um, I'm assuming stats, you know, work the same way that, that Fire Emblem always does. Strength is, you know, physical damage, magic is magic damage. Dex is generally uh, affects your, like, hit chance, uh, things like that. Uh, and your accuracy, essentially. Speed, uh, I know, if, uh, hopefully it's the same. If your speed is, like, four higher than uh, the opponent unit, you'll get to attack twice. Uh, defense is for physical attacks, resistance for magic attacks. And luck, I think, affects critical hits. Uh, so that is how I understand the stats to be. If that is wrong at all, and anybody wants to correct me in the comments, feel free to do so. Um, this uh, Vader can actually make it. Oh, you want to go there? See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a ah, I see. Okay, you're teaching me this now. The weapon triangle. Are strong against axes. Axes against lances, and then lances. The classic weapon triangle. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance. For an advantage in combat. Okay. Try it. Strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Okay, so it sounds like what we want to do. All right, so we're going to inflict the break stance on an enemy by landing attack with a weapon that has an advantage. Broken units cannot counterattack until after their next combat. This is your chance to attack. This seems like we could absolutely just like break the game, no pun intended, uh, with just having you know advantageous type matchups. I'm interested to see how they're going to balance this game because I don't expect this to be an easy game. It might be easy for us as we're on normal mode. But I don't expect this to be an easy game, but this sounds, this makes it seem like you could have a pretty easy time. Although I guess the enemies can probably break you as well. Uh, so that's probably where the balance comes in. But yeah, swords over axes, axes over lances, lances over swords. Uh, and then arts have advantage over bows, tomes, and knives. Interesting. 
So, okay, uh, I actually want to move with uh, Aliar then. If you're going to be weak to swords, uh, I have a sword. So we're going to, and we see the little arrow up, uh, which is how Classic Fire Emblem would show you the weapon triangle. It might have explained it to you as well. Um, but if you ever forget, you can see that they have the arrow up, so you can be reminded as to what is good against what. All right, so now we we have we have broken him. He's a broken man. Well done. You see, swords are strong against axes. Always keep. I mean, I generally lean into uh, in weapon type advantages anyway, so Enemies can't counter not a problem. Their a good time to finish them off. I agree. Uh, that being said, you are at range. Let's see. Oh, you can punch. Interesting. Hey, divine one. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can. Yeah, I did take notice. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. Yes, I do like my magic, folks. Uh, magic can attack from both distant and adjacent enemies. Magic is often effective against enemies with high physical defense. Absolutely. Uh, mystical units. Uh, ignore terrain bonuses to a foe's avoid rate when attacking with magic. Oh, magic is not affected by terrain bonuses. They can't hide from a giant ball of fire. Let's go. Mystical units can land attacks from distance even when enemies should be hard to hit. That is important. I already like my magic units, um, but that is going to make them even more helpful. Uh, but I'm going to attack from distance here. 32 damage? Oh my goodness. Get absolutely destroyed. Oh, right, right, right. So it's 16 damage twice. For the divine it's gonna take a bit for me to uh, get used to how they break it up like that. Uh, but you can actually reach the the bone arrow. You're the only one. So let's see if you can actually one shot this this uh, foe or not. It looks like you can. So let's go. It also does not seem like there's any weapon durability that I can tell. Uh, so I don't think we're gonna have to worry about our weapons breaking. I feel like that was something that I've heard but just forgot about. Uh, until now, but like, yeah, the there's no number next to the Iron Axe, with, which there usually would be in every single past Fire Emblem game, uh, which is interesting, and that's very cool if we don't have to worry about weapon durability. I wonder if that's just a thing for certain base weapons, or if that's going to be the case for all weapons. Because <laughs> right if we get, like, special weapons and, like, you have unlimited use of them, that's going to be a little crazy, so we'll see. Nobody took damage, so you don't need to heal, but I appreciate it. Not only that, I can take incoming hits from nearby allies, but it smarts when I do. Interesting. Anyway, if you don't want to get hurt or you need some patching up, just lean on me. Got it. Uh, stabs are items with which your units can help allies or hinder enemies. Only certain classes like martial monks can use them. A heal staff, for example, restores an ally's hit points. Uh, stabs are useful, but they break after a certain number of use. Okay, so stabs uh, do have limited durability, which is fine. I've also heard that there is no such thing as like a defenseless healer in this game. Uh, which I like. Healers are going to be able to defend themselves in some way. It looks like uh, Fred is using some fists. Uh, I wonder if there are other healing classes that use other weapons as well, or magic or something to defend, uh, which is good. I, I, I like that. Key units can use Chain Guard to protect uh, adjacent allies from attack. With Chain Guard, the ally does not take damage. Instead, the Key uh, takes damage equal to 20% of their own max HP. Chain Guard is only available if the Key Adept unit is HP is at full. Okay. Makes sense. Before I move her, I actually do sort of want to see. What I didn't look at is the skills. So, this is the Crimson Cheer. If unit is adjacent to the Divine Dragon, grants avoid plus 10 during combat to both of them. Uh, that's cool. Can I, like... Yeah, I was like, oh, I wanted to cycle... Oh, I guess you can only cycle units to uh, ones that haven't moved yet. Uh, I wanted to see these skills. If unit is... Alright, uh, grants plus 10 during combat to both of them. So, that's pretty good. Have I looked? I feel like I've looked at your... Maybe I have not looked at your skills. Which is now is deal plus three damage and take one less damage. Definitely keeping everybody... Keeping these three together seems like it just benefits all three of them. And then what about you? Your thing is if you is adjacent to the Divine Dragon, grants crit plus five during combat to both of them. Alright, so that's increased crit chance. Not as good as hit or avoid, but still uh, very good. So we'll just kind of move in this little cluster here. Okay, and Chain Guard is just something that we can do. Uh, I mean, yeah, might as well. I don't think Blueberry is even going to come up and attack me, but, you know, it would have been useful just in case. Um, Alright, so Clan, so what do you have? You just have uh, a sword. We'll look at look at the this. Liberation only has a range of one. 
And uh, yeah, I don't think we'll have to worry about her counterattacking uh, some magic. Your steward. So actually, uh, we should do something like this, which will raise... Uh, I mean, they can engage. I mean, I might as well wait until the next turn. But that way I have the increased whatever from the skills. Uh, so that's 14 damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this is 14 damage once. I'm trying to see if there's any telling factor uh, versus attacking once and attacking twice that you can see on the stat screen. I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. Okay, and I think it, it sort of popped up the skills that are, you know, affecting uh, affecting his attack right there, uh, which is very cool. Uh, sure, I'll I'll chain guard here. Uh, a part of me is just like, is this going to kill? It is not going to kill. Um, am I going to get broken? I mean, let's find out. Let's find out if I even hit. Queen Lumera, please forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. Watch, I'm gonna miss. Yep. <laughs> oh, we both missed. We're so good at this. I actually wouldn't mind if I take some damage here. Um, oh, she is going after after the Divine Dragon. Hold back, my child. All right. Yeah, we do not have that much health yet. Perfect. This is kind of what I was wanting because then I can get uh, some experience by healing. So I'm going to assume that heals are going to be plenty. I know uh, in three houses, uh, like getting money uh, and buying uh, like weapons and stuff like that was so plentiful and easy to do that I'm hoping that like resources aren't going to be so limited. Uh, so I want to use heal just to get her some experience and then I can uh, get the finishing blow with somebody else that I would like to get uh, more experience. So I'm going to try and just sort of, you know, balance it out. Uh, balance all my units out. So like they're like bond to you're like level one, but about to level up uh, Whereas like clan I feel like clan he seems like I, I Really like his attacks and like the the potential to hit I think clan might be a strong unit I don't know but I want him to get the finishing blow just because I want him to get all the experience Alia is gonna get plenty of uh, time to to you know enter combat so We'll level we'll level up Alia on the next chapter or whatever That wasn't even as much experience as I was expecting. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. Ah, there might be more. There we go. Okay, just a little bit more. All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Were you not already doing that? Furthermore, I'll be using. Oh gosh. This. Is that? The ring of the holy. Oh, Knight. you have okay, okay. Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. All right, I'm interested to meet them. I'm not gonna know who these characters are in the rings just by like their code name. I don't think. And so I'm a lot of them. I probably won't even know even after I see them. We shall see. We're gonna let the cutscene play out. The music in this game has been fantastic. That is that is a holy night. I am Sigurd. Sigurd. Require strength and swiftness. I am all too happy. The name to sounds familiar, but I do not know which game he is from. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. He does indeed. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Marth's. We better keep our eyes open. Absolutely. All right, but we got some other enemies in the way first before we can even reach that part. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe. I will be sure to do that. What is that glowing circle on the ground? Sometimes an emblem's energy lingers in a space. If a synced unit finishes their action or waits on a space containing emblem energy, your engage meter will fill completely. Oh, okay. That is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, we might as well. So, uh, oh, oops. 
Uh, what, let's see, when you place a curse on an enemy, you'll see the radius, uh, that fucking rage. You can press A to keep that radius displayed. And then you can ZL to see all the danger, uh, radius. Yes. Uh, but we're just gonna move here and attack because this is going to break the enemy as well as refill our focus, or our refill our engage, like, meter thing. Which is very good. Uh, and then we can probably just sort of finish you off with a mixture of, let's see, probably just magic. Okay, um, no, it just says damage 32, but I'm almost positive that's going to be split into two. But it doesn't really tell you that it's going to split into two. Maybe it doesn't matter because there is no counterattack, so I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder if there's a counterattack if it, uh, you know, tells you a little bit more about how it's being split up. But there is no counterattack there, so maybe that's why. Uh, what if I draw some aggro here? I mean, I would chain guard, but I also feel like Vander's not really going to be taking damage, so. Yeah, I'll go, like... Do I get anything for chain guarding? I don't think I do. I don't get. I don't think I get any experience or anything. Unless it's like a successful one, I assume. But yeah, zero damage if you've been hit. Like obviously, that was going to be a smart play. Okay, counter attacks are not going to break uh, enemies. It seems like. And we might be able to get a finishing blow with Fram, potentially. So if I attack with my fists, that is twelve damage. That is enough to kill. Uh, Fran has not gotten involved in any combat yet. I do like punching people. So I'm very excited to continue to do that moving forward. Uh, Alright, so that's out of their danger range. I, I Honestly, I use the arrows more than I use like the, the actual like danger range thing. Um, just because it's, like, it's easier for me. Uh, I will wait. I'm going to engage on the next turn, I think. But I could... I think what's probably happening is I will have to attack here. That's going to kill if I hit. There's no guarantee that I hit. But, I mean, I have to try. I need to open up that that uh, that thicket for Flam to get a, uh, a shot. But he's not going to get a chance, so... That is okay. Uh, I'm still going to have him come out this way because I'm going to put him in danger. Are they gonna move towards me? Your teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Come, Sigurd. Oh gosh, what? I didn't know. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that that would happen? I don't think. I don't think she had like an arrow or anything. That was incredible. Maybe that's the point. Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. Yeah, I'll say. All right, well, uh, let's go here and engage with, uh, with Marth, for sure. Lend me your strength. We will probably just attack with our rapier, because that is effective, and it is just going to be a one-hit kill. So, take that. I cannot afford to lose. And we got our first level up. Let's go. We got some magic, got some dex, got some speed, resistance, and luck. I don't know if uh, Aliar is ever going to get the chance to cast magic or not. I was thinking no because he started out with zero magic. But now that I've gained a magic point, who knows? Okay. Uh, I can break Sigurd like this. Hmm... How much damage can I do with clan? A decent amount. Yeah, definitely a decent amount. W11. Alright, I think we're gonna do it this way then. I have some left to give. Yes, you do. Oh, I'm no well, no, because I break, right? Let's figure out how this works. Yeah, I'm gonna break, so that attack isn't gonna actually happen. Oh, there's the little, um... Breakdown in the middle. It says like break 12 damage with the blue arrow pointing right and then the, 
the red arrow pointing left. Maybe that breaks down if there's multiple attacks. But if this breaks, so this should cancel a counter attack, right? Okay. Because the whole point of that was then I can heal. That way, just in case you take a hit, which you definitely will from the, uh, the cavalry unit up top, you won't die. And we get some experience. And we get a clan over here to just attack. Uh, and kill. Goodbye. So sorry. Uh, you've won. I'm proud to see you working together. Yeah, we might not even need to uh, fight the the last uh, cavalier like unit. Ice right, level two. Let's go, clan. HP, more magic, speed, and defense. Good level up. All right, that's just a stage clan with the MVP is clan. I mean, I'm part of the clan clan right now. That's 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 just how it is. Clan gang for life, I guess. Until I get a better magic unit, <laughs> and then I can use both because uh, you can absolutely double up on on classes and whatnot. Uh, but all right, we are going to. I'm going to wrap this one up short as well. Uh, like I mentioned in the the previous videos, uh, I have been pressed for time just because of a busy work schedule. And so these videos have to be a little bit shorter for the first uh, part, but as the series goes on and I have more time to record, uh, they will get longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this one off here and we'll start from here on the next time. So hopefully you're looking forward to more of this game. I know I am, but I'll see you on the next time. So till then, peace out.